Hi guys, it's Jimmy, and today I've got all my um, Rolex dive watches out. So Submariners, uh, Sea Dwellers, and Deep Sea. And uh, what I was thinking while well, I've got the um, the one one four zero six zero sub here uh, before I hand that one back, I thought I'd compare them, uh, vintage and other new models, to that watch and let me know what uh, what your preferred piece would be to wear. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll just hold this one up and compare each model to that watch. Um, I'll try and work on the glare. I'm outside to try and get a bit of natural light, but it's actually overcast, so we'll see how we go anyway. Um, so, yeah, the watch in my hand is the 114060, uh, current Submariner. And we'll start with the vintage at the back and we'll go through all the models. So here we have a um, Submariner reference 5513 from 1967. So it's a matte dial, first of the matte dials with the meters first dial. So I'll just hold them side by side so you can get a comparison of the um, size. There's that watch there. And here we've got a uh, Submariner uh, reference uh, 1680. Uh, this is from uh, 1972. So it should have a, a red dial. Uh, instead it's got a uh, early service dial. It's a Tritium um, Mark II white dial. So the dial is from uh, around mid to late 70s. Well, probably about 77, 78. As for the rest of the watch, it's original. Original bracelet, uh, original bezel. Like that. Then we go to another 5513. Uh, this one is a uh, Mark IV dial, uh, Mark IV maxi dial from uh, 1983, it's all original. I'm just trying to be careful putting them down, but it's hard. And here we've got a, a reference um, 16600, Sea uh, Dweller from uh, 2007. It's a Z serial. They can pair quite nicely. Um, here we have the current deep sea. Um, it's the uh, reference one two six 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 zero. current gold Submariner. So the, the reference on this one is uh, 116618. Uh, the sun's finally came out. Current Hulk. Ooh, I the lights playing games now. There's current Hulk, uh, 116610. Actually catches the sunlight quite nicely. And last but not least, the uh, current Sea Dweller. So the reference is um, a 1, 2, Six six zero zero. Yeah, 
yeah, all gorgeous pieces. Um, the only one that's missing off the table is uh, my 1978 5513. It's a Mark One Maxi dial. So that's just in getting a service and had a problem with the setting lever, snapped a screw. So apparently the movement was a bit dry. So what they've done is um, just giving it a service and uh, you know, fixing that setting lever. But with everything that's going on, I haven't gone into town to pick it up. It's been, been there for quite a while now. So don't know when that's gonna happen. I'm trying to do the social distancing thing. So anyway, um, please guys, let me know what your preferred piece would be. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.